Hey, in this video we're going to explain some of the stuff uh, about trainer jockey angles that we talked about in our email about Keeneland. So uh, we just sent an email today highlighting some Keeneland stats for handicapping about trainers and jockeys and, and some factor information there. And I think that uh, maybe some people have a little trouble with the trainer jockey stuff and angler. So we're going to show you how you do that. Uh, it's pretty easy to do and it's incredibly useful uh, once you get uh, a bunch of these angles in place. Um, so the first thing you do is uh, you, you, know, you want to go to Angler and you go up there to Tools and then Angler and you click on that and here you are. Um, so we're talking about Keeneland and we were talking about specifically the fall meet. Um, but just for purposes of, of demonstration here I'll look at all of Keeneland uh, for the last couple of years. So the, the first thing you want to do is set a date range. And since we're talking about Keeneland we know it starts in October. Um, and so I'll, I'll go back a few years, I'll go back to 2014, October 1st, and I'll end it uh, 2016 and the end of October, and that would cover all of the uh, last three fall meets at Keeneland, and I guess two of the spring meets as well that occur in April. And again, for, you know, for this demonstration, that's fine. So once you have your date selected here, uh, the next thing you want to do is limit it to a track. So you pick a track that you want to look at, and we're going to look at Keeneland. So we select that, and we say done. And so you can see over here in the uh, <coughs> settings, we now have a date range and a track. And if you ever forget which track you picked, you can just go over here and click on this again, and, and the, clack, the, the track you picked would be highlighted. So it's uh, Keeneland. Um, so then, you know, well, hey, we'll just hit start search, and that's going to bring back every single race that it finds with just those two conditions. And you can see over here that across that date range, um, there's been 6,856 horses that ran at Keeneland and 800 races. And down here is what we're going to kind of focus on is this summary by track. So we know it's just Keeneland because we have it limited to that in our uh, settings. And then if you look at the trainer tab, you click on that, it's going to take it a couple seconds it's going to recompile everything here by trainer and so when we, we were looking at uh, the email we highlighted a few trainer jockey combos in there and you, and you can see here that overall at Keeneland during that time period Michael Maker has the most wins and that's uh, this is the number of races that he had horses in and and or number of horses that ran that were trained by Michael Maker so he could have had a couple in, 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 uh, in a race um, this is the number of times that he won, number of times that he placed, showed, and then the win percentage, and then the ROI. <clears throat> this is on a two dollar. If you would have bet two dollars to win on each of those horses, this is how much you would have made or lost. <clears throat> so we'll look at Mark uh, Cassie here, who's got, has a positive ROI, uh, just two dollars, but it is positive. So to put a trainer in here, you you come down to the horse and connections section. You click on that to open it up and then this is where you're going to input the trainer name and for a name like uh, Cassie I'm pretty sure there's no other trainer with that name so uh, I'm, I feel safe that I can just put that in there and not get a, uh, a couple of trainers with the same last name if that is the case if you're if you're looking at a trainer with the last name of Smith for example you might need to put in the first name as well to make sure you're just getting results for that guy so then we'll hit start search and of course we have three conditions in here now which is the date range the track which is Keeneland and the trainer is Cassie and we can come over here now and we can see that this trainer list is now just Cassie now the second thing you want to do here is we know that it, we're looking at uh, horses trained by Mark Cassie at Keeneland in this date range and then we can click on the jockey tab over here and then we can get a list of all the jockeys that uh, were riding horses trained by Cassie at Keeneland so you see, uh, we can sort that by the wins, and we get uh, Leperu on top, Bridge Mahan second, and Leperu had 17 wins. So now let's uh, we'll add Leperu there uh, as part of this condition. So now we just come back over here to the jockey, and we add Leperu. Now again, that's a unique name, so I know that I'm not going to get multiple jockeys named Leperu. But if I was looking at something like uh, Ortiz, then I would also include the first name, uh, Leperu uh, space, you know, or Ortiz space Irad or Ortiz space Jose or whatever the case may be. But since it's uh, Leperu, we'll just leave that as uh, just the last name there. We'll hit search. And now we have these four conditions, the date range, the track, the trainer must be Cassie, and the jockey must be Leperu. And so now you can see that this list over here is, is limited to just Leperu. 
So those two guys together at Keeneland uh, since October 1st of 2014, uh, 53 horses. So that's 53 horses trained by Cassie and ridden by Leperu, and you have 17 winners, and that's 32%, and you get a nice profit on, on just those. Now this, you, you know, you could leave it at that and save save the angle, um, but you know you, you might want to dig a little bit deeper and see if you can determine what uh, how, how you could make that a little bit better. So what, all you have to do is click on this analyze winners button, and that's going to go back and analyze all the stats for just those horses. So when you get uh, this pops up, this analyze uh, window pops up, and this breaks down all of those those races uh, those. 53 horses in those 17 races that they won and we can see how it broke down by distance so you have one at six furlongs and, and a lot of them nine of them were at uh, eight and a half furlongs it's pretty pretty even between dirt and turf um, this shows you the types of races you know most of them were uh, eight of them were made in special weights and a couple of grade ones a grade two and then four four grade ones and a you know one grade three one grade two a couple of allowance races and one claiming race now down here it shows you the factor statistics. So of those 17 horses over here, we can see that 47% um, of them were ranked first in last race class, which is pretty interesting. Um, so let's let's close this and we'll go back to the uh, to Angler and we'll add one more condition. Go down here to the factors and I'll say class last race class must be first so this horse you know in addition to all this other stuff now it has to also be ranked first in last race class so I hit start search there and now we've narrowed it down quite a bit and you get uh, only 11 horses qualified under all those conditions um, and you have uh, of those 11 six of them won uh, which is 54 percent and you know that you're, you're really tightening that uh, that grouping down. So if you wanted to say, all right, all right, I want an angle that shows me every time this is run, you know, or every time a horse is found that meets these conditions, all you have to do is say save angle. Uh, you give it a name. We'll say Cassie Leperu Keeneland, uh, and then we'll say class. Just something there that lets you know, you know, there was something else involved on that. Then I hit save. And that's that. That's that angle. So when this Keeneland meet starts, today is uh, Wednesday. So on Friday, you know, when I start hitting run angles, um, I, I would hit that button, and it would pop up. And well, I don't have anything to clear them all out for this uh, for this video, but um, you know, it would if a horse is running or entered that meets those conditions, uh, it would pop up, and so you'd be notified of that. So. Um, you know, there's based on that email we sent and all those hot trainer jockey combos. Uh, you know, whether it be, you know, obviously Cassie and, and Leperu or McPeak and Leperu or Ian Wilkes and Chris Landeros or Graham Motion and Edgar Prado. You know, there's a bunch of them you can do, and of course you're not limited to doing that at Keeneland. You're, you you can do that on any track that you play, and. Um, the more of these you have, the better you're going to do, um, and some of them are very situational. You know, it's not just always the trainer and jockey together, but when you narrow it down a little bit more, you might say, well, this trainer and this jockey um, are fantastic on the turf, not so good on the dirt. Um, so the trainer, the jockey, and the, and the surface, and then also maybe the race type. You know, it's uh, maybe it's made in special weight races. Maybe it's the, the, the trainer goes to this jockey when he needs, the, uh, needs to get the win on the made in special weight. So there's a lot of stuff you can find here. And, you know, it's like I said, it's uh, really invaluable when you start using this. And I know some of you are still having a little bit of trouble with it, and that's understandable. It's kind of kind of uh, complicated when you look at it on the surface, but I guarantee you once you start playing with it, you'll figure it out pretty quickly. And we have multiple people that are just killing it with this thing right now and, do, and coming up with some fantastic angles. So don't, uh, don't shy away from this. Use that email that we sent out today with those trainer-jockey combinations and just start building a few for Keeneland and uh, have those in your in your holster there ready to fire uh, when, when Keeneland starts this Friday. Um, if you have any questions about Angler, you know, we're always happy to help. Just shoot us an email and we'll, uh, we'll give you as much help as we possibly can to get you up and running on that. Best of luck. See ya.